Hi, I'm the Global Runner and today we are going to do a first run in these, the New Balance Super Comp Pacer. These are a 5K specific shoe and they are lightweight, they're uh, just over 200 grams. They are minimalist by today's standards, they've got a lower stack, but they do have a carbon fiber plate and they are super stiff. So I'm gonna try them out today with a session of 16 400s, just on the road. I, I was gonna to go to the track, but I wanna try them out on the road, which is what they're designed for. It's a new shoe day, let's give it a go. So the first thing to note about these shoes when you're putting them on is that the tongue really is desperate to fold over on itself. So it's a bit finicky to make sure you haven't got any creases in there. So I've finished my warm up. Uh, I love the ride. I love the feel of a lower stack shoe. It uh, makes a bit of a refreshing change actually. Okay, so I've done four 400s. That's a mile. And initial thoughts are, oh, I love the ride. It's like a 1400 with more pep. Here's what I don't like. The lockdown. They, it feels like they thought, right, we can't make this any heavier than 200 grams. But they stuck all this fuel cell into the outsole and they were left with like 10 grams for the upper. So they stripped everything down. And if they just sorted that out a different way so that the tongue was gusseted and there was a little bit more structure in the upper to keep the foot in place, then this would be a true racing flat. Like at the minute I can feel my feet like moving around in it. I'm not sure how this would handle a twisty course. I just feel like the lockdown is not where it should be in a shoe like this. The arch of my right foot is starting to hurt and I'm feeling the plate under the ball of my right foot. Not my left foot, just my right foot. It feels a bit uncomfortable. So I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, so I have to keep an eye on that. Um, but that is not great, which is disappointing because the ride feels amazing. So that's eight reps done. And this really is a shoe of two halves. We've got the half under my foot, which is great. Fantastic ride, like proper old school ride. And we got a bit, the bit above my foot, which I don't know, I think they missed a trick. I do have to say that issue in the arch of my foot is still there. So I'm gonna call it a day at 12 and hopefully that doesn't become a thing. Okay, so I finished my 400s in the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Pacer and I'm a bit lost for words. I don't actually know how to rate this shoe. This, um, the ride underfoot when I was running in them was amazing, really responsive, fantastic. And when I put the Rebel on afterwards, the Rebel felt just like too soft, too squishy, completely different shoe. So the ride is responsive, it's fantastic. The upper is not fit for purpose, sorry. Like, the, everything is just too flimsy. Like, and I understand why they're doing that, but you need some lockdown on an upper like this. Like, there's nothing there. I think you could easily have fixed this by having a tongue that was sewn in on the sides, like an like a elasticated, gusseted tongue, which holds your foot down. And then you could even have gone old school, get rid of the laces and had like a Velcro top, which would have been amazing. I know they're probably a bit reluctant to do that, but this, uh, top here it's just you just flop around in it the other thing i would note is on the left shoe i had no problems whatsoever on the right shoe i could feel the carbon fiber plate under the ball of my foot but the arch of my right foot was agony at that point and it really hurts so i'm gonna have to keep an eye on that and that might just be my biomechanics if anyone has had any issues with the arch of 
their feet hurting uh, after wearing these shoes, let me know because I'd be interested to see if that's a, a problem for everyone or if it's just me. But anyway, uh, that is my review after one run. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to mash the like button. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.